Hey there, it's Carly Burton. Welcome back to my channel where I encourage you to spend more time offline so you can experience more joy, exercise your creativity, and actually live your life. Today, I'm going to be sharing my honest, unfiltered opinion about social media. And as you watch this video, I wanna know your honest, unfiltered opinion about social media. So leave a comment while you're watching, letting me know your thoughts on social media. And we can, before you watch, agree to disagree. If you do not have the same opinion as I do about it, that's fine. I still wanna hear your comments because I'm open-minded. Before I share my thoughts, for those of you who don't know, I've been off of Instagram for over six years and the only social media that I have is Pinterest and obviously YouTube, which in my opinion are in kind of a different playing field when it comes to social media. My honest, unfiltered opinion about social media is this. I can't stand it. I do not like it at all. In fact, I'll even go as far as saying I hate it. I don't hate the idea of it or the initial purpose of its creation, but I hate what it's done to our society and what it has become. When I say social media, I'm specifically talking about the Instagrams, the Facebook, the TikToks, the Snapchats, Twitters, those types of social media apps, but it also can apply to you if YouTube maybe is that one that you waste the most time on or is most destructive to you. Now let's get into my reasoning. So reason A is that social media has taken the humanity out of people. People don't care about how what they do affects someone else. So in other words, it's selfish. I don't believe people pleasing is the answer. I am someone who is very aware of how I make other people feel and how my actions affect them. And that is partly why I don't carry a camera around filming my cute little family and the little things that we do. Because first of all, why do you need to see that? What are people gaining by watching others vlog their daily life? Some people might find that inspiring, but honestly, I find it incredibly wasteful and kind of selfish. What makes you so special that people just need to see what you do on the daily? I just, I don't get it. And on top of that, are these people really being themselves filming these daily things that they do, making their life seem super fun and super exciting or making their relationship seem so happy and oh, they're so in love or oh, they're such great parents. Are they really? Are those really things that they do regularly or is that just something that they do to get the footage to share with you? Are they really such a great couple and such great parents? Like, do you know them off camera? Do you see them when they're not in front of this? Like being great parents and being so in love. It would be really easy to act like things are a certain way for the camera when in reality, they just aren't. So once they post these perfected videos that they're beautified, just out of this world, incredible life, how does that leave the viewer feeling? Does it leave them feeling dissatisfied with their own reality? Does it leave them feeling jealous? Does it leave them feeling inspired? So this part of the example clearly is the YouTube culture. <laughs> that is that vlogging culture that I just absolutely can't stand. I just, I don't understand it. But my point A is that it is selfish. And for Instagram is that half naked picture that you posted of yourself posing all seductively really the most effective and the best way to spread a message of self love and self care. I can think of a million other ways that would be way more effective to spread a message of self love or self care than a half naked picture of yourself. Um, for everyone else to see. Is this really the example that we wanna to set to younger people? It just really comes across to me as what can I gain rather than what can I give and how can I help, how can I serve? While many of those beloved people that you follow may claim that they love you and that they appreciate you just oh so much, are they really seeing you or are they seeing dollar signs on their eyes when their number of followers goes up? Are they really seeing another human on the other side of that number? I feel like if they were actually seeing another human on the other side of that, they would be acting a lot differently. Which actually leads me to my next reason, reason B. Social media tricks you into thinking you know someone when you actually don't. Just because someone posts daily about their life or shares you, takes you along a journey with them through a video or through images, does not mean know what's actually going on behind the scenes. It totally makes sense. People don't want to share everything behind the scenes. Some things are private and who wants to air their dirty laundry? No one would follow that. You'd be negative Nancy and that just wouldn't be fun to follow along to. It's not as exciting as something that just seems so perfect. And I don't think that it's healthy for the person putting out this type of content to be trying to live up to this perfect standard. I don't think it's healthy for the viewer either. My reason C is social media is a comparison wasteland. It kills confidence 
robs joy, talent, and creativity. How many teenagers are out there trying to look just like that cool or popular person that they see on social media? And how many adults do the exact same thing? I especially feel strongly about this for the younger people, but I know that it is a problem for adults just the same. And I know comparison has been around forever in different ways, in different forms throughout all the years of that humanity has existed. It's just innate in us. However, social media has just elevated it and made it just a thousand times easier and way more unnecessary for people to compare themselves to things that honestly don't matter and that wouldn't have even been thought in your mind had it not been the way that it is. Camera angles, filters, lip fillers, twist reality and distort what is real and make a lot of people feel like what God has given them isn't good enough. When in reality, yes, it is. And those people who are making you feel that way are the ones who have it wrong. But what's the fun in that? Like I said, beauty is in the differences. If we were all exactly the same, this life would be boring. People wouldn't be exciting. There'd be nothing unique and special about any of us. And how many goals have to be set and unmet due to the distraction of social media and the mind numbing that it causes? And the loss of confidence that you might feel because of someone that you see who's 10 steps ahead of you. And D, my final point that I wanted to make in this video is that social media has created so much less satisfaction in life for so many people. You think you've got a good thing going and you, you do, but then you see someone who's got more than you, is happier than you, prettier than you, you fill in the blank with it and then you're left feeling dissatisfied. In all honesty, there will always be someone who is all those things ahead of you. They're just, they're just well, it's just part of life. But social media, again, has just enhanced that and made it just constantly right there screaming in your face how behind you are, how not beautiful you are, how not exciting or cool you are. It makes people feel like they're constantly just behind. So in other words, social media just takes away the joy and the journey. All right, so I'm gonna stop there because I feel like I'm being ultra negative, which I don't like to be. Um, so there's probably gonna be a part two to this video someday because I honestly just scratched the surface with all my thoughts and opinions about how I feel about social media and why. But that was all I wanted to share about the reasoning today. And the reason I wanted to share this is because honestly, there's so much good out there. Life can be so amazing. Life is so incredible. We have so many opportunities. We have unlimited potential because we're all human. And I feel like social media is killing the joy, taking away people's confidence, and people just need to get off, get out, get away from that crap and start living their lives offline and experiencing more of the joy because it's there. You have the opportunity to feel it, to embrace it, to live it. You just have to get offline and get away from these platforms. I mean, don't you think, honestly, there should be some sort of like warning sign when you go to download the app I mean, even better than that, some sort of like age restriction. You know, you have to be this age and like have these set of skills if you are gonna join, unless you wanna ruin your life. The last thing we need is another child to be on these platforms, to have their mind plagued that these unrealistic expectations are what's gonna make their life joyous because it's just not, it's just not the truth. But do I support the Instagram, the social media cultures of our world? Absolutely not. Do I wish I could shut that down? Shut that down in an instant? Absolutely, because I care about humanity. I care about the human. I care about the person that's on the other side of the photo, the other side of the video, the other side of the screen. Do not let these social media apps own you. Do not let them take your life away from you and your precious time that they have already wasted so very much of because they really are numbing to the soul. And yes, I am self-aware enough to understand the irony in me sitting here making this video, posting it up on a social media app that I kind of dogged on earlier on this video, but in order to help the people, you gotta be where they are. And guess where the people are? They're on social media. So here I am, I'm on YouTube because I actually find YouTube educational and I actually find it enjoyable. And it's not something that's addicting or wastes my time. So here I am owning it, irony and all. There you have it, my unfiltered opinion on the crapshoot of our society that we call social media. I wanna wrap all of this up in a nice little package by saying, there is a shift happening. People are waking up. People are fed up with the BS that social media has been feeding us for years. People are sick of the wasted time that it's taking away from them. They're sick of the way that it's making them feel. And honestly, guess what? 
these people are right. There is a shift happening. We're busier, more distracted, more anxious, depressed, and unhappy than we've ever been before. There is a reason more and more people are leaving social media every single day. There's so much joy to be felt offline. There's so many people to be loved, so many goals to be met, progress to be made, hands to be held, eyes to be met face to face rather than through a screen and through the scrolling. I'm here making these videos, working on these projects offline to hopefully motivate and encourage you to live more of your life offline, to experience the joy that comes from that so that in years from now, we can look around and instead of depression, distraction, and a bunch of clones glued to our phones, we can see lovers laughing together, children, their parents being present in the moment with them, hands being held, and precious, priceless, unreplaceable memories and moments being created right before our eyes. So my friend, I invite you, if you are one of the few of us who refuses to conform to the crap show that our society is subscribed to, head over to inspiredy.co and join the bi-weekly letter that I send out called The Offline Diaries. The purpose of my letters is to inspire you to live your life offline, to bring us back some of the old school, of course, the good stuff, that's old school into our modern world to encourage a lot less screen time, a lot more me and we time and open up the space for creativity and for joy. So if you want me in your inbox only a couple times a month to motivate you to get your butt offline, vintage, old school style, then head over. I'll leave a link in the description for you to join the offline diaries now. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far because my camera has overheated on me a couple of times while filming this. So it did not go as planned, but so is life. My hope is to be an example of what I wish we could see more of in this online space because I'm no dummy. I know it's not going anywhere anytime soon, but I believe that we can make it better. <laughs> There's my baby in the background. Sending you all my love and encouragement to get offline and I will catch you next time.